Many on the Big Island felt some of Hone's wind and rain, but imagine feeling the full fury of a hurricane around the center of the storm, where winds raged over 85 miles per hour and thunderstorms flared up. Our Paul Drews reports on the hurricane hunters who spent their weekend flying in and out of Hone. Paul. Well, many of us tracked Hone as it moved toward Hawaii, but no one kept a closer eye on the storm than members of the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron. Hurricane hunters flew through Hone on their way from California on Thursday. And notice this tropical storm already had a clear area in the center, similar to the eye of more powerful hurricanes. They then spent the next three days flying a special C-130 propeller plane in and out of Hone through rain bands in the center of the storm to measure wind speed, temperature, humidity, and other key information, which was then used by forecasters to determine where Hone would go. The crew flew slow into the storm to reduce the turbulence from this tropical cyclone. And even though Hone only strengthened to a Category 1 system, there are still hazards flying into a minimal hurricane. While the, the larger storms do have those very strong winds, flying through those smaller storms can be uh, potentially very hazardous. They'll have convective activity um, that isn't as organized around that, that center of, of low pressure and circulating. So they can be very challenging uh, as we're trying to safely negotiate our way through the storm to the center um, to find the, the data we need. And take a look at what Tropical Storm Franklin looked like when hurricane hunters flew through it last year. Near constant flashing from lightning around the eye wall. Withy tells me Honey didn't have that many thunderstorms, so instead the eye of this hurricane was much darker. Now as Honey passed to the south of the state and continued heading west, hurricane hunters flew their last flight for the storm. Normally they'll continue to fly in and out of tropical cyclones until the storms make landfall, dissipate, or turn away from land and are no longer a threat to come ashore.